All right. I am sweating in this helmet. It's freezing up here. It's cold, but it wasn't as cold as, um, it wasn't as cold as last time. The last time it was freezing, mostly because it me. And when it rains, it gets cold. Freezing ugly, I said. Okay. Both hands. Both hands in control, boy. Both hands. Both hands in control, boy. Ooh, big one. to keep secrets and I've gotten a habit of doing that that's just part of life and so um I met someone that was just like me that um keep secrets very well and she didn't want people to know that she met someone or she's checking someone out, or dating someone. So she's been keeping me a secret. And I decided, okay, you want to keep your privacy. You don't want people asking questions. You don't want nosy people gossiping. Fine, that's not a problem. Okay. But as it went along, um, she started saying, well, uh, maybe if we go to church, then, um, I don't sit next to you or something and um something crazy like that because she wanted to she didn't want people in church to gossip or ask questions so um that after a while I mean I thought okay well I'll go along with that but after a while it bothered me because and it actually hurt because it told me that it's almost like she was embarrassed or ashamed of me. And like all my girlfriends would be like super proud of me. They would be like introducing me to their friend and family and showing me off basically. And so she's um... So I, I told her that, I told her, hey, you shouldn't keep me a secret because, um, what am I doing? I have to go there. Yeah, forget it. So, anyway, um, I told her, yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be keeping me a secret, um, because it's like you're ashamed of me. And, um, it really hurt, and I realized, well, this, um, this pastor and the wife, his wife, was telling me that living in seriously, or living in darkness, 
<laughs> it's really not the way to go. You need to be transparent. And um, you need to live in the light. I couldn't agree more. <sighs> so I know that I realized that was my blind spot. It never occurred to me. You don't go living life this way. Living blind. Okay, here's the observatory one more time. I wonder if I should ride my bike up here like I did last time. Maybe I should. Because it might not get as good again. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. I'm gonna do that. Is that a park ranger? Hope not. Park ranger is going to give me the boot. Are you a park ranger? I'm a volunteer. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, I was thinking of putting my, bringing my motorcycle over here. So. I could get a photograph of my motorcycle with the observatory in the back. Hmm. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> if you're going to do it, I would do it before the next rain jog. <laughs> a, a real ranger? Um, I gave my talk at 11.15, but there will be someone else up here at 12.30. Um, are you just going to like push it or give it a little gas? And get a little I'm going to ride it carefully <laughs> right by where the sign is and photograph. Take a photograph. I won't, I won't kill myself or run, run people <laughs> over. Okay, um, I personally don't have an issue with that. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, did anybody ever tell you you were the bomb? <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Okay, I got um, it. Yeah, so if you, if you are going to do an activity such as that, then just make sure you do it before 12.30. Pardon? Do it before it's well for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yep, and don't, don't drop off the path. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who's this guy? I was going to do it anyway. Um, I know she was there, so, you know, it's best to ask for permission. If she said no, then you can't do it right. You gotta at least respect people that much. Nice adventure. Okay, here we go. Yay, Robert. <laughs>